O God, come to my assistance. In the third week in Ordinary Time, the readings are taken by Sister Antonia Oporanife of the Congregation of the Missionary Sisters of Our Lady of Apostles and commented upon by Reverend Father Augustine Casa of the Society of African Missions, SMA. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days of his flesh, Jesus suffered of prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to him who was able to save him from death, and he was heard for his godly fear. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered, and being made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your merciful love. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, set me free. Incline your ear to me and speedily rescue me. Save me, O Lord, in your merciful love. Be a rock of refuge for me, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me, for the sake of your name. Save me, O Lord, in your merciful love. Release me from the snare they have hidden, for you indeed are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your merciful love. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My God is in your hands, deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. Save me, O Lord, in your merciful love. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your merciful love. the blessed Virgin Mary, for without dying, she merited the palm of martyrdom at the foot of the Lord's cross. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, 
and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord On a day like this one, when we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, we face a theological problem, one of the meaning of Mary's suffering. Cyril of Alexandria suspected Mary to have been overcome by suffering. He then characterized Mary's suffering to be like one of any other human being, like one that we ourselves go through. John Paul II seemed to have differed a little bit from Cyril of Alexandria. In his apostolic letter, The Christian Meaning of Human Suffering, number 25, Pope John Paul II says, In her, the many and intense sufferings were amassed in such an interconnected way that they were not only a proof of her unshakable faith, but also a contribution to the redemption of all. And again, after the event of her son's hidden and public life, event which she must have shared with acute sensitivity, it was on Calvary that Mary's suffering, besides the suffering of Jesus, reached an intensity which can hardly be imagined from a human point of view, but which was mysterious and supernaturally fruitful for the redemption of the world. Her ascent of Calvary and her standing at the foot of the cross together with the beloved disciple were a special sort of sharing in the redeeming death of her son. Mary offered a unique contribution to the gospel of suffering. For John Paul II, Mary's suffering is unique, distinct from the suffering of every other human being, because mysteriously and in a supernatural way, Mary's suffering is fruitful for the redemption of the world. So as we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, my prayer for each and every one of us, uniting ourselves to Mary under the cross, we may be assured of our salvation as she was assured of hers by uniting herself to the suffering of her son on the cross. And may God bless his word in our hearts. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Suivez désormais sur vos smartphones et ordinateurs toutes les actualités de l'Église catholique en Afrique et dans le monde entier sur SMA Togo TV. Le Samaritain aujourd'hui on ne l'a pas, mais c'est nous qui sommes les Samaritains. Nous devons suivre l'exemple de Jésus sur cette terre. C'est le coup de la parole, l'opportunité d'être en communion avec le Christ. SMA Togo TV est accessible 24 heures sur 24, en direct sur le www.smatogo.tv, YouTube, SMA Togo TV, Facebook, SMA Togo TV. Téléchargez l'application SMA Togo TV dans Play Store. Foi. Éducation, santé, société, développement, entrepreneuriat, humour et sport, tout est passé au peigne fin sur votre web TV. Et c'est Matogo TV, la première chaîne missionnaire.